Can you believe that we're at the end of season one already? I'm a little bit sad but I'm also like really really happy because then we get to move on to season two which is supposed to be heaps better. Okay so we've got 11, 12 and 13 and we had an issue with 12. But I think I'll just tell you about that when 12 comes on. I know how much you guys love the Monty Python videos. I love doing them, I promise. Imagine having the audacity to post a video on Wednesday that wasn't a Monty Python video. Naughty, naughty. But they're gonna keep coming. Okay, let's just get started because I think this is gonna be like an hour and a half long worth of Monty Python. Please like and subscribe if you like this video. And let's just go. Monty Python's Flying Circus episode 11. Yes. <laughs> There's my man. Well, there was a little it's in there. I object strongly to the letters on your program. They are clearly not written by the general public and are merely included for a cheap laugh. Yours, etc. William Nickers. There's always something to moan about. I remember watching a YouTube video and the YouTuber had said, it doesn't matter what video you put out, someone will always have a moan about it. And it's true. There's always people that will have a moan. I do take strong exception to this resurgence of cheap jokes about poo-poos. I like poo-poo jokes. No, don't follow me. Um, and don't zoom in on me. No, I'm off. I'm off. That's it. That's all. I'm off. His hair looks extra fluffy today. Are you nervy? Irritable? Depressed? Tired of life? <laughs> Keep it up. <laughs> no one must be asked by me to leave room. No, no one must ask the room to leave us. I get like that sometimes. <laughs> Allow me to introduce myself. Oh, so that's how you fix it. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Inspector Tiger. Tiger? Where? Foul body me to intro body up. <laughs> now for Sir Gerald. That's better. Now I'm Inspector Tiger and I must ask that nobody leave the room. Now, sir. <laughs> Okay! <laughs> Look, there hasn't been a murder. No murder? Oh. oh. <laughs> ah, now there's been a murder. This house is surrounded. I must ask that no one leave the room. I'm Chief Superintendent Lookout. Lookout? What? Lookout! <laughs> Lookout of the yard. Why? What will we see? <laughs> What would we see if we look out of the yard? <laughs> yeah, I don't follow that at all. <laughs> he had very long arms. Say 30 or 40 feet. I can see him breathing. You can discount that one. <laughs> look out of the yard. <laughs> there was a shot. <laughs> Ooh, another murder. I'm Assistant Chief Constable, there's a man behind you. There's, there's a man, man behind, behind you. you. Uh, you're not going to catch me with an old one like that. <laughs> this is a good one. Somebody, I leave nobody in the room, buddy. So I'll take the tablets, Tiger, buddy. I'll stop me yes. my juice. Hey, 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 <laughs> Free scheming, scarcely ever to be carved, midfield conucento, Jimmy Buzzard. <laughs> oh, jeez, what's up with him? <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> I hit the ball first time, and there it was in the back of the neck. <laughs> uh, do you think Jarrell will adopt a more defensive post? <laughs> <laughs> it's a good idea. Cheeky. Oh, temper, temper. Well, some of us don't like having men crawling over us the old time. <laughs> good evening, Mr. Stalls. Hello, David. <laughs> Mr. Stalls, what makes you particularly interesting? Well, I'm only off an inch long. Well, that's extremely interesting. Thank you for coming along on the show tonight, Mr. Stone. Oh, 
think I was in the That's all we're gonna see of the half inch man. And now it's time for our music spot when we turn the spotlight tonight on the Rachel Tooby Bicycle Choir. <laughs> This is just weird. <coughs> He's gonna give himself a hair to you. Mr. Walters, are you sure you're invisible? Oh yes, most certainly. The office where I work, I can be sitting at my desk all day and the others totally ignore me. Oh, everyone just ignores him. Ken. I believe you're interested in shouting. Yes, I'm interested in shouting, all right! He's good at shouting. Uh, she flies across the studio and lands in a bucket of water. By herself? Uh, no, I fling her. <laughs> I fling her. <laughs> oh, I'm more interested in a wet pussy cat. You claim you can set bricks to sleep. Yes, that is correct. Okay. Entirely by hypnosis. Yes, I use no artificial Wait, means Wait, the half-inch man's in there. Go <laughs> 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 Mr. Stools! Now all fast asleep. Very good. Very good indeed. I can do that too. <laughs> he just needs to get in there as well. <laughs> <laughs> There's got to be like seven undertakers in there. I apologise for that, but I think you'll find this a bit more interesting. <laughs> ah, boobies. In an expanding agrarian economy. But first, a bit of fun. Yeah, I wasn't listening to a word she just said. What makes you think the Battle of Trafalgar was fought near Cudworth? <laughs> because Drake was too clever for the German fleet. <laughs> I beg your pardon? <laughs> I forgot what I said now. <laughs> oh, oh, I think uh, cement is more interesting. Whoa, those pigs are massive. Reenactment of the Battle of Pearl Harbor. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that looks like lots of fun. They all look so cute dressed up as women. We shall. <laughs> Ooh, he got angry. And so I said if it happened again, I'd get very angry and talk to Lord Hill. And. <laughs> to Lord Hill! Is this the end? I have to make sure. Yes, it's the end. Right, so, episode 12 had a little bit of an issue with. So when you go to play, it gives you the seasons options and then you click on the season and then it gives you the individual sketch option. So you just click on the first one and then it plays all the way through. But it would not play, it was just black screen all the time. So I was able to play from the second sketch down, but it means that we are missing a signal box somewhere near Hove and we're starting from falling from building. Let me know if a signal box somewhere near Hove is worth watching because I'll find it and I will watch it. But if not, then we'll just then we'll just start from falling from building sketch if that makes any sense. The only other issue that I have with doing this is that we don't get to see the it's man, which is quite sad. So, I think I'll just have to do it for you. Are you ready? Here we go. <laughs> it's Monty Python's Flying Circus. Foot comes down. Okay, I think that's enough. Somebody just went past the window. That way. Oh, that way. Look. 
two people, three people. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that was Wilkins of Finance. Wilkins. <laughs> Wilkins. Robertson. Wilkins. Robertson. That was Wilkins. That was Wilkins. <laughs> <laughs> My belly could do that. With me now is Professor Tiddles of Leeds University. <laughs> Professor, you spent many years researching into things. <laughs> nice beard. But not the same as we have with Bao and Bao. They're spelled, they only mean different things, but sound the same. So there. <laughs> Excuse me not shaking hands, but I've just been putting a bit of lard on the cat's boil. Well, you must be dying for a cup of tea. Well, wouldn't say no. Nobody says no to a cup of tea. And over here is Mr. Hilter. <laughs> <laughs> Von Ribbentrop is born in the Gotteramastrasse 46 Dusseldorf Vestige. So they say. <laughs> so they say. I was unable to go in the streets, play football, or go to Nuremberg. She doesn't look like she wants to be there. <laughs> Haven't I seen him on the television? This is nine, nine, oh. <laughs> nine, nine. <laughs> he hasn't got much of an audience. <laughs> oh yes, British are pals. Here's Wonderbar. Four. <laughs> oh God! on and on and on, never letting anyone else get a word in it until I start foaming at the mouth and falling over backwards. Uh. I wish to be doing the Oh, so I can't hear you, sir. Could you try speaking in a lower register? Oh. Oh. <laughs> He's gonna have a sore voice after this one. Dulwich SE21. 121 animal red, that's it, 21. Another animal red, Johnny, sergeant! Stop the bank, 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 Doing well running down the old woman. Here comes Vivian. Vivian to slam the door. And there we are back at the handball. I think that's too easy. That's too easy. <laughs> Who is that? Oh, yes, that's Nigel. Nigel has spoken the name. Oh my god, this is exciting. It is very exciting. Who comes to me? It's her arms. <laughs> and Oliver has run himself over. Oh dear. Difficult as it requires absolutely expert coordination between mind and body. Someone's gonna get shot. And now they've got to take the cars off from the front. This is really difficult. This is really difficult. I'm gonna rip her boobs off. And so the final result of the class trip of the year to That was a good one. Okay, all clear. <laughs> He's 
little bits always make me so happy. I don't think they're meant to. Realise, of course, that Rosamond is still rather young. Daddy, you make me feel like a child. Oh, yeah, you know, get them when they're young, mate. Right? Ain't no people. Get them when they're young. Or clean out public lavatory. <laughs> is there a promotion involved? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> After five years, they give me a brush. Uh, <laughs> but look, I'll, I'll phone the bishop and see if we can get the abbot. Oh, darling. Oh. <laughs> I think he's going to die before he can get married. Mr. Farquhar's goldfish during an Oxfam lunch. And Mrs. <laughs> I'm afraid the minister's fallen through the Earth's crust. The Earth's crust. What length of BBC rope will we be likely to need? I should use the longest BBC rope. That would be a good idea, I would imagine. That would be a good idea, I would imagine. The script would appear to have landed on a different ledge, somewhat out of my grasp there today. <laughs> Don't you know? <laughs> well, I'm going to carry on uh, if I can read the script. <laughs> Feel very strongly about the present. Ah! Ah! Why are they not pulling him up? Uh, I'm sorry about this. Uh, <laughs> 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 you very strongly about... Oh, bloody hell! Oh. oh, he's dropped it. He's dropped it. How are you? Uh, <laughs> look, I don't want... You just need to pull him up. What are your reactions to all this, Robert? Uh, well, well, Robert, the, the main thing is, this is terribly exciting. Tremendously exciting. What's happened to his eyebrow? <laughs> <laughs> really tremendous, tremendous, tremendous clue as to the origin of the Earth, what God? Oh, it's on fire. Has anyone anything else to say? No. 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 <laughs> no. 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 Bloody fairy. No. 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 <gasps> oh, that was a good one. I like that one. Okay, here we go. The last one. The very last one in season one. Episode 13. Oh, I don't like him. I'm going to have a baby in a few years. <laughs> uh, please excuse my wife. She may appear to be rather nasty, but underneath she has a heart of Paul Michael. <laughs> I'm playing people and I'm proud of it, but mother's a salt of the earth and I don't take the pill because it's nasty. <laughs> Very beautiful, and she may have no money, and she may be a little talentless, boring, and dull. But on the other hand, nothing. I'm the head waiter. This is a vegetarian restaurant only. We serve no animal flesh of any kind. We're not only proud of that, we're smug about it. Smug. <laughs> I'm against people who give vent to their loquacity by extraneous bombastic circumlocution. <laughs> Oh, I don't like that. She's against everything. Evening. Evening. Oh. I'm stupid. I'm muggins. Nobody cares what I think. I'm always the one that has to do everything. Nobody cares about me while I've got a lot What are they talking about? Albatross. <laughs> Albatross. <laughs> He's the size of it. <laughs> of course you don't get bloody wafers with it. We've got scuddies that size in Scotland. Well, that's quite enough of that. And now a policeman near Rottingdean's. Oh, he's got the albatross. And then I found my wallet had been stolen and the £15 taken from me. Well, did you, uh, did you see anyone take it? Anyone hanging around? Or? No, no, there was no one there at all. It's trouble. Well, there's not very much we can do about that, sir. Do you want to come back to my place? <laughs> 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 No doctor. No doctor. Call ambulance. Keep warm. Drink doctor. Drink doctor. Yeah, look at him. <laughs> Me doctor. <laughs> Albatross. I have to clap for them all because it's the last one. And we kick off tonight with Cardinal Richelieu and his impersonation of Petula Clark. <laughs> <laughs> Ivan the Terrible as a sales assistant in Freeman, Hardy and Willis. <laughs> <laughs> That's a head. And now we short into mission, during which Marcel Marceau will impersonate a man walking against the wind. <laughs> What's your name? Eric. Eric. I want to have 
What do you want to have? I want to have. His face is so cute. She's got a big bottom. <laughs> <laughs> They're going too slow, they're never going to catch him. Yes, we in a special crime squad have been using wands for almost a year now. <laughs> you can make yourself invisible, you can defy time and space, and you can turn violent criminals into frogs. That's a good idea. The mind is subject to severe mental stresses. Good evening. <laughs> Guilt fears abound. Good evening in the subconscious. <laughs> Good evening. Hello. Oh. Yes. Up yours. <laughs> oh, you never play with a Ouija board. Oh, that was helpful. Now, this is the kind of thing that gives the piece a bad name, Sergeant. I oh, know, sir. Yeah. Oh, that's a pretty dress. Uh, well, mister, I'm, uh, I'm going to... Oh, call me the, for heaven's sake. Oh, oh well, the. Yes. Uh, what do you want to see us about? I've come to get myself. Now, what if he breathes into it, so the white crystals turn lime green, then he uses a ton of the under. I want to see the doctor. <laughs> oh, he looks happy. Will you please sit down and do your first line? No, no, I've had enough, I've had enough. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even get it started. Oh, he's having a bad day. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Mr. Nutlove. Uh, that door won't close. <laughs> Well, look, I think I'd better have a second opinion on this. I want you to see a colleague of mine, a specialist in these sort of things, who has an office very much like this one, as a matter of fact. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> nice one. Come in. Oh, come in, too sexy. Still not closed. Nice, please, sister. Oh, well, that's supposed to be. Give me a big one. <laughs> Oh, that's a big knife. Right! How far down did he go? I'm going to open the slit. Swang groovy, great scene, great lodging, baby. Get them out! I can't! Get them out! No, I can't, not, not without a court order. Shut up, you're keeping us awake. <laughs> One court order later. You are hereby ordered to vacate Mr. Notlove forthwith and all. Push off, Fuzz. Rolling! That's it, we're going in. Release the vicious dog. There <laughs> There's an ending for you. Romance, laughter. <laughs> There's the feet. <laughs> it's done. When this series returns, it will be put out on Monday morning as a test card and will be described by the Radio Times as a history of Irish agriculture. Irish agriculture? It's the end! There's no more! Until we go to season two! Did you guys like that one? I like that one. It was good! I'm so 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 excited for season two. Right, I'm guessing this video is going to be long enough already since there's three episodes in it so I'm not going to ramble on at the end like I always do. Please let me know if you're still enjoying these. Please let me know if you want me to find, what was it called, let me see, a signal box somewhere near home. If not it's fine, we can just forget about it and move on. Please like and subscribe if you're still enjoying these videos and leave a comment down below because I always like to leave them all. And that's it. That's us done for today. Thank you so much for watching all of season one. I hope you stick around for season two and the rest. And then I don't know if I've said already, but the plan is once Flying Circus is over, I do have Faulty Towers ready. Okay, I'm gonna go now. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Season two. Goodbye.